Eight votes. So disappointed I've written. <laughs> but after that, if you were in the house mm. and you had a chance to get her out after those two competitions, oh, yeah. unless you're very, very closely aligned oh. with her, you'd Come be on. stupid not to vote. Of course, her. of course. Hi, Chad. Um, <laughs> Sonia said... Mm. Mm. She had eight votes, which mm. means it's time to say goodbyes, and that's when I was like, I just mm. knew. <laughs> got so I didn't really write notes on the airlock moment, but have you got anything? I put any quotes. BB told Angela she's Angela, not. Angela, one moment, please. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> one moment, please. And then uh, it, Angela was like, <laughs> and BB said, "Be quiet." <laughs> Do you know what's brilliant about mm. this? Yeah. The juxtaposition of mm. Marissa like running, running like a eulogy of mm. Angela yeah, in, in the, the garden house. and saying prayers. Yeah. Yeah. And then Angela in the yeah. airlock yeah. finding out she's not a victim. So Angela's like dragging her suitcase along. She's like, oh, I need my husband to help with this. And then they was like, Angela, you're not going. And she was like, Me! they were like, be quiet. And then the figure was like, never mind. Because yeah. <laughs> she was just screaming. Yeah. Um, and then Angela was taken to the secret room, Big Brother's bunker. bunker. And the first thing you saw in the secret room was... A teapot. <laughs> which, Tea on tap. <laughs> which led to a lot of people to say that, oh, this was only here yeah. for Angela. No like, shit, Sherlock. Do you think Big Brother had this lined up for whoever they wanted to save? They don't know who's going to be entertaining. Big Brother And had, Big Brother had, had had a teapot on standby. Big Brother had it lined up for Angela. Pretty, like... Any Free. week, Angela would have gone. Really? This is when that twist would really? happened. One hundred percent. I knew Angela was the star before they put. I her can't in. believe you're even putting that out there that it weren't. I don't think it was for Angela. You I think they're going to put Kieran in that room? Um, no, not now. Ever? I, I think Kieran's their secondary star that that they want to present, and Angela's their main one. But I feel like the the concept of Mm. introducing this whenever they want mm. was for wh- whoever at the time so if Angela whoever's the best TV at the time yeah at whoever's the best TV at the time yeah like this if this who else was up Mar- if Marissa would have gone bye yeah for sure yeah we'll save it for two weeks down uh, the line so we're saying the same thing basically yeah. but I don't think it was necessary before the show they went okay just in case Angela I know. goes no yeah right so then Angela was sobbing but it was mainly about the cover tea. Um and then Big Brother said, Get comfortable and begin plotting your revenge. So this is gonna be like Michelle and Emma, isn't it? Like putting cold water on. C- for come Zoe. on. Give them people the sniffles, Angela. Exactly. <laughs> give, Zoe, give Zoe the sniffles. Yeah. <laughs> um there's so Was it a week that it's gonna be for? I don't know. I think they said she was gonna be in there for a week. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Did they say three days? Well, I forgot that in my head. I don't know. I thought it was a week. But But if you're in there for that long, you still have a couple of evictions, surely, Mm. in this this version. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good point. An eviction every three days, isn't Mm, it? That's a good point. It's going to be so good. I honestly got goosebumps when that happened. It was Ashleen... It was the Ashley moment. It, it was. It was. I was just like, "This is magic," and I was just thinking of all the people going, "Ooh, it's a pure going on this bullshit." You I just thought, "You Alfie, cannot Alfie let." Alfie Sheldon for one is pissed off with this because oh, Big Brother. No, he ain't. Big he's... Bro- he is. No, he said it, he can accept it as for Angela. No, he's happy because it's Angela. Yeah. And likewise, for us, if it saved Talia, we'd probably be pissed off right now. Yeah, of course. But, you want whatever suits you. You know, there's pure Big Brother fans. Yeah. With which I used to be one. Um, of being like, oh, because Big Brother didn't say this was going to happen at the start oh, of the week. Off. There's no public vote, so Big Brother doesn't have to tell you. Big Brother ain't enti- don't owe you an explanation. <laughs> fuck off. It don't. It don't. Do you know what? I actually... What TV show lets the star of the show walk out second week? No TV show. No TV show except Probably for Big, Big Brother. Brother yeah, Big Brother UK <laughs> and Big Brother US. So they did the right thing. I think they absolutely did the right thing. People are saying it's a fix, but this fix works for me. And it it's a fix. Who cares? It the show. It's a fix. Do you want good TV or you don't want good TV? I want good TV, and that's what I said. Like, who is, is a... actually sa- send me those tweets saying it's fixed? I'll talk to those There's people. Plenty of that. I'll, I'll talk to those people. No problem. <laughs> send them straight to me. I'll deal with them. Um, do you know what? what? I think this is a really good version of Big Brother, and I never would have thought that I would say a pre-recorded Big Brother without a live feed. Yeah, would like be acceptable, let alone preferable. But this, for me, is good it goes back to what i was saying about the format if the format is good enough this format it is can good, stand it? up and it doesn't negate from other big brothers that do have the live feed it's a different entity yeah it is a bit of a hybrid of uk a bit of a hybrid of canada a bit of a hybrid of I us think it works. and it works oh not according to taryn it don't 
it's it like, really works. It's neither one thing nor the other. Blah, blah, blah. It's going too far. There's too many minor details that they focus on that he's not interested in, like the tea or we whatever. We like that. I guess that uh, so this dumb. is the thing, and this is what so these people dumb. don't understand, mm. that these these versions of Big Brother are being shown, well, this version of Big Brother is being shown to, to a country that is used to it being a show about people living together, mm. not a show about a game or a strategy. Yeah, exactly. And actually, Australia has always been a little bit more tactical with mm. their, like, showdowns and whatever. Yeah. Class, like, hand grenades and yeah. whatever else they've had. Mm. So, it's the development of the, of the sort of social social game, isn't it? Yeah. Or the sort of social experiment. Mm. And I actually like it. And if it came to the UK in that format and the only way to have it was pre-recorded... Oh, won't mind. Is it people going? Oh no! I'll never. And the super fans been doing this, and I'll call. I'll call you out right now. Mm. Going. Oh no! I would never accept Big Brother like this. You ain't got no choice. If Big Brother comes <laughs> back and it's like that, you will be sat on your ass you watching, watching it, it, just like I will, <laughs> just like Gaz will. We all will. So don't say I'll never accept it. <laughs> Any Big Brother is better than no Big Brother, and that is that. That is the end of that conversation. And if you can honestly say no, I won't be watching it. You fine. Ain't a super fan. I I will look at your Twitter and be checking. <laughs> <laughs> Currently inactive. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so what are we going to do? I think we should do the emails now. What? In four minutes? Well, no, but we just start the show like ten minutes late. Oh, we can watch it on... Yeah. Stunted or just... Yeah, yeah. I think okay, we should. I think we over. should carry on, we don't you? We could put a tele on the background, couldn't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, I'll go to the Gmail. Don't you think? It smells like cocoa butter in here. I think we got a... We've got to carry on. We've got to get through this. We've got, got to get through this. We've got it. We can't leave we've it till after. It's just How many emails we got? We've got five emails, I think, and it's they actually this. look quite good. Oh. Oh, what's Wait. that? It's my work email. Oh. <laughs> it's my old work email. Oh, we've got a new... Is this from your boyfriend? We've got an email from someone called Daniel. Doubt it. <laughs> Let's have a look. What's... Uh, what, in the Gmail address? Yeah. Do you want me to just give you it this? It might be from him. Look, these are the emails. Do you want this? Ah, oh, it is from him. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Read out his one. Is Laurie the first one? Yeah. We will, but... We'll... Are you right saving it? What's this? No, that's old. Oh. Oh, I don't the... know what that is, so oh, shit, just ignore it. No, that's just some rubbish marketing stuff. No, that Joseph. was from last time. Okay. No, I'm not saying <laughs> Joseph's emails are old rubbish. rubbish. No, no, that's from right, last Right, Laurie, week. BBA your podcast feedback. June 16th. Greetings, fellow Big Brother lovers. Oh, she's talking to the audience now, not just us. Or is it, or is it us? We are, we are Big Brother lovers. Um, it's time to vote instead of it's time to evict. Ooh. Gave it away this Ooh. week, didn't it? Not for me. Oh. I'm dumb as There you go. Dumb as Chad. I didn't that either. Dumb as dog shit. Was it? Is that what <laughs> yeah, Alan said? Yeah, someone did say that. <laughs> I'm dumb as dog shit. Um, a 2020 bed sit with Angela at the helm, fueled by endless tea. I'm here for it. That wasn't that wasn't seeped in a toilet first. <laughs> uh, it's just what this show needs. Now that is going to be delicious TV. Correct. I cannot wait to watch all the mayhem and tomfoolery. Is it Sunday yet? Mm. Oh, I'm saying. Agreed. Like, is it on yet? Agreed. Um, I'm glad production saved the last person of colour and the series breakout star from being evicted from the game. Did you see that poll where popularity of the housemates, it was literally Angela's bar was just like that and then all the others like 1%, 1%, 1%. <laughs> uh, not even Ian. It, like a tiny bit, mm. but it, the difference was just crazy. If Angela hadn't won back, back-to-back challenges, it would have been camp comeback all over again. Mm. I can't believe I remembered what camp comeback was. No, today. well done. Um, just in case you didn't speak of a tragic fashion faux pas, oh. what the hell was Daniel wearing during Tuesday's vomit? <laughs> Vomit? Sorry, voting sex segment. <laughs> we vomited wanted, when we saw it. I was just wearing. wanted to vomit. <laughs> eek. Yeah, it was eek. Mm. Um, there was such negativity on Twitter before BBAU launched with it being mm. pre-recorded mm-hmm. and no live feeds, etc. The mm-hmm. fans want to be entertained and this show has certainly delivered. Thank you. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself and want more. Me too. More, please. Cut off an hour, love heart sort of emoji, but performed out of, you know, a three and a... Uh, I like that the, that's old school. L L L Laurie, loyal listener Laurie. P.S. The BB UK retrospective shows have been great too. Mm. So much Big Brother to enjoy, but it's never enough, is it? <laughs> Hashtag save Give BB us UK. More. <laughs> That's why I'm watching BB Free US at the moment as well. GB's back. Oh, it's another voice thing. You need Go to. On. You have to play. Oh. Oh. I should be able to play it on there. It's more than three minutes. Oh no! How long is it? I don't know, but it says we're fantastic. Five out of five stars. Oh well, so that's good. Bit of flattery. How long is it? Everywhere. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to say that I am in love Don't with know. this week of Big Brother. Almost every single episode still Australian. was watchable over and over and over it's again. Australian. And I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> First of all, I had no idea that people could be afraid of knees and bubbles. And also the editing is a lot better. The pacing is better. I love the catching of the ball task. That fucking siren almost fucking woke me up. And also, I want there to be more series of this show in the future. I think it's He's fantastic. Australian. And I think <laughs> Animal future? Show and Channel 7 should invest for at least a couple of more series of this show. Also, my favourite episode of the week was Talia's Eviction. I've seen that over a thousand times already. <laughs> and I can't I think get it's a fake bored accent, of it. Though. I could watch it over and over and over again. And also, when Angela got Over a fake thousand evicted, times. It reminded me a lot of when Ben was fake evicted during Tim's season of Big Brother. Yeah, and he went to that presidential suite, didn't he? It reminded oh, yeah. me a lot of BB UK <laughs> 2006 <laughs> when Ashleen got fake evicted and yeah, was supposed yes. to go the Very house Ashleen. next door with five new housemates. Then she evicted them, but they were actually going to the BB house. Then, unfortunately, when it came down to the final two, I think it was Spiral and Jonathan, and I think she ended up choosing Spiral to go with her back into the baby house. Yeah, and Michael. Um, fuck, I can't believe I remember Michael that. left. Fuck. Anyway, let's Didn't talk he? about some of the negative things about oh, I don't know. this week of Big Brother. First of all, Casey. Fuck. This bitch is, like, on the top of my fucking... I'm to miss the hijack. Yes, what's it called? Jackie shit man. list, because, you know, it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> <And> anyway... <laughs> I found her to be a complete bitch or a cunt for going off on Kieran for scrambling, strategizing with everyone. <sighs> it was great to see her on the block. Now she knows what it's what like to be on the okay. fucking hot okay. seat. Okay. And speaking of she Kieran, block, he's a fucking rat. He's like the biggest rat that I've ever seen, aside from Andy Heron, of course, in BBUS. And I feel like this will benefit him, though. Like, it will definitely guarantee him a few more spots in the finals, I think. I feel like there's a primary reason why he is featured heavily in these episodes, especially in the beginning with last week and now. It's basically the Kieran and Angela show, which I don't mind because everybody else is boring. Matt is boring. Xavier's boring. Daniel's boring. Sophie's boring. Like... They're all just so boring. Like, I'm rooting for Marissa. Marissa? Angela. Why? Hannah. And Chad, because all of his tattoos are amazing. <laughs> That's also, all good I reason. I'm going to root for Ian. But other than that, the house is really fucking boring. And also, I just wanted to address the Channel 7 rumor back in March about the cast being terrible and disappointing. Knowing that the cast fucking ethnically cleansed this fucking group of people immediately. They fucking ethnically cleansed it. Yeah, Hashtag racism? No. You know what? It's not fucking racism. It's just implicit bias. Like, I'm sure they're nice people. And it's definitely just racial bias. And, and, and I think the reason why... A lot of people are saying, oh, it was just a coincidence. It had nothing to do with colors because they're casual cunts. They don't watch <laughs> TV. They don't see this pattern. And it's like, you know, time and time again, we see people of color and minorities getting evicted and them saying, oh, it had nothing to do with fucking yeah. appearances. You know, it was just a coincidence. First of all, why did the oldest person got nominated? Why did the fat kid got nominated and every single person of color was nominated last week by day six? That's like less than a week and all the minorities have either been, mm. mm -hmm. you know, fucking we crucified. Didn't even say that, but anyway, no. the disappointing cast. We're going to it now. Mm. I'm starting to believe it now, knowing that Laura, who was pretty spunky, you know, Alan, 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 who was annoying, <laughs> and also <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Subog, who is fantastic, so athletic, super fun, mean girl Talia, and I think Danny had a lot of potential, even though she was really boring in the house. 
But yeah, and now Angela, who was evicted, but shocker, it was a fake eviction. But yeah, you know, it's fun. It's great. And...